C plus plus for loop. So that is another looping construct and which is very much popular that is a for loop. So a for loop is a repetition control structure that allows you efficiently write a loop that needs to execute a specific number of times. So here is the basic syntax of the for loop. So for will be there, the keyword will be there, then within bracket we are having three sections and they are to be separated by semicolon. So at first the initialization of the variable, it is not mandatory, it is optional. You can do the initialization of the variable prior entering into the for loop also. And that is one condition. This initialization and the condition must be separated by semicolon. This semicolon is must, even if we do not write the initialization section here. In the condition, if the condition is true, then only the control will come in the for loop body. So that is the condition here. And after condition, we can write some increment or decrement uh, type of expressions. You can write here. Condition and increment or decrement statements or expressions must be separated by a semicolon again. This section is also not essential. You can also do this increment or decrement of the variable within this for body also. So this semicolon, this semicolon and this conditional condition here whatever you are going to write is mandatory to be written in this within uh, first brackets. And here is a block, if you are having only one statement to execute, you can enclose it within the block within this braces, otherwise you can write it a single sentence can, uh, statements can be written after for also. But if you are having multiple statements to be executed, then they must be enclosed within these curly braces. I think now let us go for one sample coding on this for loop. So before going for the coding, let us go for one flowchart and then we shall go for the coding accordingly. So for we are having this initialization, we are having this condition and then we are having this increment or decrement and that is the conditional code is there. So this is initialization, then for condition, if the condition is true, then execute the code block, then go for increment or decrement and then again the condition will be checked. If the condition is false, then the control will come out from this for loop and it will go for the next in the next body, whatever is there in the C++ code that will be executed next. Here is the sample code for us. So here we have done int a is equal to 10. So here we have defined the variable and also initialize the variable in this initialization in this init statement. So for int a is equal to 10 semicolon as we mentioned earlier semicolon will be there and then the condition has to be written let it be a less than 20 and then semicolon again and that is the increment. So a is equal to a plus 1. Instead of writing a is equal to a plus 1, I could have also written there a plus plus or plus plus a. Both will produce the same output in the execution of the program. So see out the value of a has got printed. So the value of a will be printed from 10 to 19 because it is less than 20. So 10 to 19 because each and every time it is going increasing itself by 1. So if we execute this code, this is the respective output which was expected. So in this way, we have shown you that how to implement a for within the C++ coding and how to get the required output out of that. Thanks for watching this video.